string students, this is your blue number one piece. It's number 43 in your book, Mozart Melody. It's a very familiar tune that you will all know. Now, I'm sure you've already flicked to page 15, number 43, Mozart Melody. And the number one thing that you should have noticed is that there are no note names in anymore. This is where the book and I like to get you to start recognizing what the notes are on the stave. We have been through ideas. Every good boy deserves fudge if you play violin. Okay, all cows eat grass if you play cello. Use that knowledge. It's also up in Google Classroom on the theory page. Obviously click by your instrument and there are worksheets there to help you. Now, in the book, on page 14, you have the big orange box at the top. It has all your notes from open D to high D in order in the scale. You just played them for green two, 31 and 32. You're gonna write your notes in if you haven't already. So you know that your first note, the lowest note that you know to read right now is open D. The highest note, three fingers on the A string, high D. If you want to put your finger numbers over the top as well as your note names, absolutely go for it, okay? I have no problem with that. I would personally then work through all of page 14. 14. You know what Jingle Bells is supposed to sound like. So work through it. Try not to write anything in. Let your brain and your ears help you. 42. You know how old MacDonald's supposed to sound. Use your brain. Use your ears. They will help you. I'm not saying it's easy. But it's worth the struggle because you'll be able to start really playing all sorts of music without being scared that you don't know what it is that you're looking at. 43. Mozart Melody. If you've been looking at this, you will see that the book has been putting numbers in for you at certain points. So zero and zero, that means open string. You will see that in measure two, there is a B. That's first finger on the A string. It has one over the top. Use those finger numbers to help you. I'm going to trust you that you are not going to put your finger numbers in and your letter names in or your note names in okay, that you're going to challenge yourself. It may take some time. It may be that, you know, there's that one corner where you have to do the jump, maybe between the end of the first line and the beginning of the second line, where it goes from open D to open A. You want to put A over the open A. I would probably let that pass, but only if you did it the once, if we were in class, okay? Sometimes we have to write stuff in to help ourselves, but right now, the challenge is, can you start to recognize your notes? Now, 43. I already said you know it. I'm going to play it for you. And because this is blue one, it's pizzicato because I'm not expecting you to be able to read notes and put the bow with it straight away. Because that's an awful lot of neurons and pathways being built in your brain. And we need to take time for that to happen. So first of all, if you've already been practicing it, play along with me. If you don't know what this piece is, you're probably going to be pleasantly surprised. Just listen. This is my viola, by the way. I'm going to play this one on viola for you guys. So, after four, one, two, three, four. If you can hear that because of the microphone but my viola is really resonant so when I pizzicato in one string they all vibrate it's awesome so step one you should by now realize that this is twinkle twinkle little star sing it to yourself pizzicato open D because that's your first note and go twinkle twinkle little star how I wonder what you are that's line one you will see that there is the jump at the beginning and then it just comes down in finger order. B, A. Oh, all three on the 
D string. Okay? So, sing it so you know it. Remember, if you can sing it, you can play it. Number two, say your note names. Okay, there are only quarter notes here. There are no difficult rhythms that you don't know yet. So these are only quarter notes. So sing your note names. That will help you learn your note names. Even if it's really slow, I don't mind. I don't mind if you sing in your head. I have no problem with that. So I would go D, D, A, A, B, B, A, rest, G, G, F sharp, F sharp, E, E, D, rest. And if I only want to do line one and get comfortable with that, that's fine. Practice is different to playing. Practice is where you learn things. And sometimes to learn things, we have to do it in small chunks. Once I'm happy with line one, I will look at line two. I will say or sing my note names. A, A, G, G, F sharp, F sharp, E, rest. A, a, G, G, F sharp, F sharp, E, rest. Wait. That was four measures long, but the last two measures were exactly the same as the first two measures. Oh, that's not so hard. You may also notice that underneath those last two measures, there is a line, okay? That line means that you can keep your fingers down. So, because you go to A, you go E, E, to A. Keep your first finger down. And then you've got an anchor. So throughout that whole thing, you can keep that first finger down to anchor you. Once you've done that, look at the last line. Before you do anything, look at the first line. Look at the last line. Look at the first line. Look at the last line. I hope that you are noticing something. Tell me what it is. They're the same. Because it's exactly the same words on Twinkle Twinkle as well. So the first line and the last line are exactly the same. So, first line is four measures long. Four. Okay? We know that there are two new measures that are repeated in the second line. Six. And then you do the last line again. This piece only has six measures of notes in it. The rest are just repeats. So you're more than capable of doing it. So, step one, figure out your note names, sing them slash say them. Step two, I would sing slash say them whilst doing my fingers. So I would go D, D, A, A, B, B, A, G, G, F sharp, F sharp, E, E, D, rest. A, A, G, G, F sharp, F sharp, E, keep one down. A, A, G, G, F sharp, F sharp, E, rest. D, D, A, A, B, B, A, rest. G, G, F sharp, F sharp, E, E, D. You can do it slower. I'm just conscious of the time of this video, okay? Then I will pizzicato it. And if I have to do it line by line or every two measures by every two measures to start off with, that's fine. Work in a way that makes sense to you and your brain. Don't play it through and keep making the same mistakes. So we're going to play it pizzicato together. We're going to do it slowly. And then you can send me the video when you're comfortable with it. And I will give you feedback and hopefully give you your sticker. And life will be good. So here we go. After four. One, two, three, four. Nice job, guys. I hope to get those videos soon.